Cadell Evans signing in for the final day of the Santos Tour Down Under, his final multi-day race, in third place overall behind his teammate Rowan Dennis. The city of Adelaide resplendent for the final 90-kilometre stage based in the Central Business District. Well, everybody seemed fairly relaxed on the start line, but they all knew that this was about a 90-kilometre race, 20 laps of the Central Business District of a circuit of four and a half kilometres. The 125 survivors of the six-day tour getting underway for what would be a very fast circuit over the 20 laps. Straight away, a breakaway getting clear of the field of five riders. Yes, but it was Orica Green Edge who really put the hammer down at the front end of the main field in that early morning breakaway of five riders. Never really got very much more than a 35-second advantage. And that was all because out on the course there were time second bonuses available. The damage on the chase back was being done by Orica Green Edge, who had tried to manoeuvre their man, Daryl Impey, leader in the II Net point competition, up for the sprint. One lap to the sprint, the chase was on, they were swept up, and a perfect lead out by Matthew Heyman put Daryl Impey in the driving seat. He took maximum points and kept himself in the lead in the point competition. Yes, but the pressure of chasing down that five-man group allowed another group to go clear almost immediately afterwards, with six riders going clear. Lars Boom in the turquoise jersey getting himself maximum points over the Montefiore Subaru King of the Mountain point. And in so doing was confirming Jack Bobridge back in the field as the winner of the Subaru Mountains prize. The bell again for the second and final sprint within the race before the final sprint itself and the breakaway had formed, and this was all good news for Richie Port, uh, Cadell Evans, and the leader, Rowan Dennis, because they were retaining their top three places overall. Yes, that was Lars Back who got himself that point, but the question was, did this group have enough of an advantage to stay clear and surprise the sprinters? But the main field lifted up their pace to 70 kilometres an hour in chase of the six-man breakaway. And the organisers put down a special message too to say goodbye to Goodell Evans and he really had done Australia proud. Goodell Evans though was not going to move up from his third place finish. Nonetheless, for this man, it was a great result. The breakaway continued on and for a while it looked as though they might succeed. But then they started looking over the shoulders, the peloton were chasing them down. We were heading into the last two laps of the day. And for Cadell Evans, he was looking to try and keep his place high in the overall standings. A nasty crash in one of the corners started to put fear into the main field. One of the riders from Lamprey went down very hard indeed. But what happened was the six-man leading group were brought back into the fold. And it was going to end up being a day for the sprinters. Final effort by Manuela Buoro, and then a major pileup as the field came back together. And this was outside the three-kilometre rule, so they would all lose time. And trapped in the melee was indeed Michael Rogers, and he would lose his top ten placing overall. Team Sky were the ones uh, trying to set something up for their man, Richie Port, who rode at the front end of the main field. He was only looking for two seconds in the overall standings, but once the bell rang, indicating it was the final lap, it was all down to the sprinters. Vow to rip it, making a dash for the line here without uh, Marcel Kittel to worry about. Delayed by the crash, uh, got his first ever World Tour stage victory as he came up on the right of our picture, taking on Heinrich Hausler, the champion of Australia, who would finish in second place. But the winner in the backdrop was Rowan Dennis, uh, winning the race by just two seconds ahead of Richie Port and 20 seconds ahead of his teammate, Cadell Evans. It had been a great race. That was a pretty precarious sprint, but you kept it calm and, and you had the jump at the end. Yeah, it was a, a really nervous race. The whole day, the team was sitting the whole day in the front. And actually, after a few laps, I was a bit tired, so I decided to go back. And one of my teammates picked me up in the last lap and just one run to the front. It was a very fast finish today, over 45 kilometres now, inside of two hours. But the team always stayed at the front, never thinking about the win of the stage, but being careful. Yeah, yeah, they, they rode awesomely again. I, we couldn't fault them. They, uh, they sat at the front and they, they made sure I was out of the, out of the wind. Um, even when I got pushed back, they, someone always dropped back and, uh, and pulled me back forward. So hats off to them again. They, uh, they really have uh, helped me win this and made it a lot easier.
Well, first of all, let's go to the stage winner and a huge cheer for Drapak and for Wouter Whippet. A big result for this man, his first ever stage victory in a world tour. Massive crowd enjoying the occasion as well. And now Rowan Dennis can carry his bike onto the stage. He's only the second born and bred South Australian to win this race. All smiles for the youngster and a big future lays in front of him, that's for sure. And so, as we see a new star in the making, this has been another great race. Goodbye.